Samad will not let me film right now. He was just asleep for over an hour. Me and my sister just got back from the store and the entire time we were gone, he was asleep. And even before I gave him to my mom, he was asleep. But now that you see me trying to do something, you want to wake up. <sighs> oh, this little boy. It makes me cry. Anyways, um, today is day eight. Postpartum after having the baby. And I feel great. I am a little tired today. But everybody in the house is a little tired today. Including the baby. Um, and today was day three of my Yoni steam. Today is the 27th. Um, I actually just did water the last two days. And I'll resume herbs at a later date. Once I hit back from Aquila. And I'll explain to y'all what's going on with that. Um, let's see. Did you wet your diaper while I was gone? Um, not ready for someone to meet social media just yet. He is adorbs. He's perfect. But I just want to enjoy this time. And I'm not sure when I'm going to introduce him to social media. He hasn't even seen my Facebook page. Um, the most they've seen is his head. But let me at least give y'all that. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> What's the matter with the baby? Ugh, my sweet, my sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. It's okay. It's okay. You hungry? It's about that time. Okay. He lost a sock and he lost a mitten. Alright, baby. He's latching well. It took him about, I would say, four days to truly get it down. Four or five days. We introduced him to a pacifier because he has not been pooping the way that I want him to. He has only pooped. He did the meconium in the hospital and then he did that one more time at home. On the 19th, we came home on my birthday. And um, sometimes he hops off, but like when he does get on it, he does get a good latch. And my boobs are getting used to being sucked on so much um so it's still kind of a little painful but like i said once he gets latched on truly it's no pain but back to um ow that does hurt right now because he doesn't have a good latch he's getting there um he's been latching well he's not pooping the way i want we're not sure what's going on i was very stressed i was getting sad about it and it was making it hard for me to, like, focus on just enjoying being a new mom. I was stressed out about that. It's okay, fussy wussy. Sometimes he just be having a hard time. And I know, like, he's a little fussy like this sometimes because he's not pooping. Let's see. Did you poop? Nope. Still no poop. Took him to the chiropractor. Took him to the doctor twice. And still nothing. Um, I know it's going to come. And when it comes, it's going to come hard. Lord Jesus. I have a gastro issue. And I'm hoping that's not what's going on with him. Because he does belch a lot. And he uh, poop, like passes gas a lot. So hopefully that's not what it is. But even if it is what it is, I do want to find out sooner rather than later. So I may take him to get an x-ray. Because I do have an order from my doctor to go do so. I just have to make time. Um, got in another car accident yesterday leaving from fashion week coming home <sighs> brand new car second accident it's been a lot a lot going on and that's how i know i'm just in a major transition in my life right now so year 28 be good to me please um i'm gonna always keep hope but i ain't gonna lie i've been just having to catch myself and grasp back on what matters i'm getting emotional because there's been a lot going on y'all um even just the last couple months like and even during my pregnancy there's been a lot going on but um but i got a new blessing to
But every time I look back down at him, it just makes me okay. But I'm not going to lie. Um, transitioning through these emotions has not been easy. And quite honestly, I'm not sure if it's just because of the things that have gone on since, I, like, after I've been pregnant. I feel like my hormones or my emotions are heightened more than what they were during my pregnancy. I felt pretty sane during my pregnancy. I feel sane now, but I'm just talking about, like, the level of emotions. I've been really up. But like I said, it could be a mixture of hormones and actually just me being human and going through the emotions that may come with what I've been, been through. Um, so I'm staying strong. It's I still have so many blessings, but it's just really weird thinking about getting into accidents with a brand new car. It's just like, what? So, anyways, um, we're going to a cookout today. <sighs> but in general, um, people have been seeing me and have been amazed at my body and my energy level and just the way I appear in general. And that's been pretty cool to hear. Um, doesn't mean I'm having more babies anytime soon. I uh, definitely want to be married. I definitely want a support system in the house with me <laughs> at all times. Um, just for that family unit, that's important to me personally. So when that bridge comes, we're going to cross it. If it don't come, it's okay. I got my little blessing right here already. And I just can't wait to grow with them. Um, as far as my postpartum body, I can't fit none of my jeans. Um, I, I have about that much pudge left to go to get rid of. I'm not being hard on myself though, but I do plan to, once I get some time and get in the swing of being a mom, do plan to get in the gym and just start feeling good mentally and physically again, um, after the baby. But transition, he put, he just put it on me. Did you put on me? Yeah, he put on me. <laughs> so this is my baby. Six pounds, ten ounces. And he did drop down. He should be about 5'16". But he was 5'14". After they lose that little bit of weight. After they come out. I'm not sure why. Oh, because they have amniotic fluid in their body. So he lost all of that. And then he went down to 5'16". Five, 5'14". Um, Look at his little feet, y'all. I remember seeing his feet on the ultrasound. They look just like that. He's so light. <laughs> My little light baby. Look how light he is. He's a red baby. Red, red, red. See how content he is? Like, this doesn't hurt anymore. Uh, what else? He's latching pretty good. Because he hasn't pooped, he's been a little fussy. Um, the first two days of life were really nice. He was quiet. When they put him on my chest when he came out, he just like cuddled up on me and just laid. And it was so beautiful. And then he opened his eyes and looked at me. And then closed his eyes. It was just beautiful. Um, then after that, that's... Um, I know I would say the first three days of life were good. Four, the fourth day is when the poop thing just started. I would say that's when it... The fourth day of life is when he couldn't poop and then he got a little fussy. But we gonna work through this. The last three days have been fine though. Um, I think I've just gotten used to it and the flow of things. We've been getting good sleep. Uh, seven hours last night, the night before, and the night before that. We probably got more hours of sleep today, actually, because he woke up um, around 7:45, and then we actually went back to sleep. And by 7.45, that's when we had gotten to seven hours already. So it's not consecutive. It'll be like we'll sleep for four, and then he'll wake up. I feed him, then we'll go back to sleep and sleep for three. Um, so that's been our routine. And even before then, I think I the, the first night in the hospital, I think I got like two hours of sleep. But it was sporadic. It wasn't consecutive hours. Um, and I was functioning off adrenaline pretty much. So... But yeah, I mean, as far as TMI, so if y'all don't want to see this part, as far as like the Lochia, I think that's how you say it, Lochia, L-O-C-H-I-A, um, it's not like super bloody red anymore, it's more of like a brown color, um, and it's not a lot, and it's weird because I hate pads, I don't wear them normally, and it's 
not nice having to wear them now. It's kind of annoying because you can't wear certain clothes. Um, what else? I still got my edges. I don't know when those start to fall out, but they ain't out yet, y'all. I do need to wash my hair and get a retie, but we ain't worried about all that right now. Um, it's funny because I don't care about panty lines anymore, but normally I hate seeing panty lines. It is what it is. For right now, anyways. Um, yeah, I don't know what size jeans I wear right now. Um, my body feels like gravity. It's just pulling down on it all the time. I feel like, <laughs> like when I walk, it almost feels like I'm walking with a hunch. It just feels like, I don't know, I don't feel very polished and poised the way I used to. Maybe I look the same. I'm not sure, but I just feel like everything just kind of sags a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if it actually does. And I walk very slow. I think my the body my body mechanics have to get back to normal and that's why I'm gonna continue seeing the chiropractor and I might start physical therapy for like uh, the pelvic area I've been hearing, hearing some really good things about that um, but I, anything I can do to kind of feel normal again I will because you definitely do not feel normal after pregnancy and labor at least I don't um, the car accident gave me more back pain than what I had yesterday already Oh, but this morning I didn't feel too bad when I woke up. I don't feel too bad right now. I'm just a little slow, you know. Um, what else can I share? Drop some questions below because I just can't think of everything right now. And I'll be happy to answer for y'all. So let me know what you want to know about uh, my postpartum. Um, and if things pop up, I'll go ahead and just jot it down. But I will do a sit down formal video answering your postpartum questions so please drop them down below and once I'm in a more clear thinking mood um, like I said I'll write down some things as well and then I'll do the video well but other than that we are well um, everything's not always going to be perfect or the way that you thought they would be and that's a recurring theme in my life that I'm grasping on to and getting the lesson in that because that's one thing with me like my expectations just kind of get the best of me sometimes but they're not very high we've talked about this in another video before I just just the basics you know just the basics. I just be wanting the basics. But me and baby are going to go. He's sleeping. He needs to wake up. We're going to go to a cookout. I'm about to get dressed. Let me show you these shoes I just got. Me and my sister went to City Trend. I'll be sleeping on these little cheap stores. I'll be thinking I'm bougie. Too good for them now. But I found these. Ain't they cute? They were only $8.79. I'm about to put these on. With... Something. Something cute. I also bought these. Like little house shoes. Or just going around shoes. I really like this color as y'all can see. Hopefully it focused. But these were $6, $5.99. They feel like Crocs but a little cheaper. They're comfortable though. Um... And that's it. I will see y'all in the next video or the next clip if I do decide to film again. But if not, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you already haven't. Somebody locked themselves out of the house. Must have locked themselves out.